I'm Mark Munoz, and you're watching the MMA Show. Welcome to the MMA Show. I'm the Muscle Mole. Master Wang. Unfortunately, no B for the CP. He's still missing in action. Yep, still in Thailand. So we're here and we're going to give you a fantastic show all about UFC Kane versus Dos Santos. That's on Fox, by the right. way. UFC deal on Fox. The only the main event will be on Fox. The rest will be on Facebook, UFC.com. All this good stuff. And the, fa and the main things, obviously, in the US, it's going to be on Fox. But over here in the UK, it's going to be on Prime Time. We're getting it gratis. Hell yeah! Okay, looking at the event itself, Cain Velasquez versus Junior De Santos. What's going to happen? Master Wine. Well, you've got Cain Velasquez. You know, he is the uh, chain wrestler. He's a cardio, brown pride, aka standout, heavyweight champion. The man has hands. He has kicks, he has cardio for days, he is the Nick Diaz of the heavyweight, he's a chain puncher, but you know what? That don't impress me much. Yeah, don't imp well it does actually, it impresses me quite a lot, but I think uh, Junior DeSantos has a lot more skills. Junior DeSantos blew into the heavyweight scene in the UFC, KO'd for doing his first fight. <sighs> Trains obviously with Black House, so he's training with good camps. His fight against Carvin really blew, my, blew me away. I thought a big wrestler would put him down, control him. That wasn't the case. Takedown defence was brilliant. I see his punches striking. No kicks. It'll be, there'll be no kicks. It'll be striking. Straight punches, hard punches. That's going to decide the fight. Ken Velasquez, I believe his wrestling is, is up there with anybody in the heavyweight division. People talk about him being well-rounded. If you look at the Lesnar fight, if you look at the dog fight, well, he probably did look well-rounded. Congo. But if you, if you trace back a wee bit to Congo or Rothwell, he wasn't want to strike at all. Anybody that can strike, or in Lesnar's case, take a punch, he's not want nothing to do with. He reverts straight back to chasing the takedown. And I think that's what will happen in this fight. But Junior De Santos hits a lot harder, faster, straighter punches than Congo. So for that reason, I'm choosing De Santos. De Santos has got fantastic hips. You can throw his hips back. His uh, takedown defence is really fantastic. Footwork. I want his footwork. But the thing about um, uh, Brown Pride is he moves forward. He goes for a single, goes for a double, switches the hip, turns the corner, pushes it into the fence, pulls back, keeps on going, that chain wrestling style. And I don't know if DeSantis will be able to handle that, but I'm still going to go for DeSantis because he punches like a beast. DeSantis. And uh, Kane is not Roy Nelson. No, he hasn't got a hard head. Is that an advert? That's your advert, alright. <laughs> So folks, uh, that's uh, Hell Energy Drink, Hell Energy Drink, that's Hell Energy Drink, some new sponsors, fantastic, good tasting energy it's drink business. Oh, sorry I'm late, I just had to go to Thailand for a wee while, that's great. <laughs> so that's Hell, and that looks like B for the CP is back. Oh! He's been away for five fights, we probably could have missed him for another five, wouldn't have made any difference, but he's back anyway. He knows nothing of the new sponsor, welcome back, B for the CP. Hey, oh. from Thailand. Okay, so, the dream team's back. Let's talk of the next fight. Well, what we got? Next fight, next fight. Clegg Weider versus Ben he, uh, Bendo Henderson. Oh, Bendo Henderson versus the Carpenter. And the Carpenter, both these guys, lightweight, super energetic individuals. Both both former champions in different uh, one strike force, one in WEC. Clegg Weider's in a four fight win streak, but Master Wang has a problem with him. Clay Guida has been Jacksonified. Trademark. <laughs> Jacksonified. What does that mean? You know what it means. He's no longer the guy he fought with the bad tattoo. He's no, he's no longer the, the reckless warrior that fought Huerta. Yeah. He, 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 he's slowed down. He's got tactics. He's got game plans. He's trying to avoid getting punched in the face. That's not the old, that's not the old uh, carpenter, is yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, Ben Henderson has every one of the skills. Ben Henderson is robust, has cardio for days, can strike. He's in the habit kick. of winning. He was in a 10 fight win streak before he got kicked in the face. That Matrix crazy style. Pettis fight. Before then, he had 10 fights he'd won. Didn't know how to lose. Came into the UFC and he started putting a beat down on some serious characters. I thought Jim Miller would have wasted him. Wasn't the case. 
for, for that reason, how well rounded, how adaptable he is, I'm going to go Ben Henderson versus, well, not via any sort of sort of submission, but it'll be a decision. I think we're starting to realise when it comes to the lighter weights, the WEC was the real deal. And a lot of the top UFC guys are really struggling with the top level WEC guys that have come over. And for that, I love the captor, but Ben Hendo Henderson is going to take this full stop. I mean, he put a beating twice in Donald Zeroni. Nobody else since he came to the UFC has been able to do that. Bendo done it twice. I really think he's faced a lot of tough opposition in the WEC, and I think that's prepared them for the for the UFC. So for that reason, Bendo. Sweet. Now check out UFC 138, all the post-press coverage. You've got articles, you've got the full event, the post-press, you've got pre-interviews, you've got Guys. Dana versus Braveheart mashup, and you have uh, the Muscle Mo asking the relevant questions in regards to the UK television deals here in the UK. Join us on Twitter, join us on Facebook, share us, and enter the hell competition to see if you can win some hell. Yeah, only open to Scotland. Thanks for watching. Woohoo! That was it.